Here, we have the modern bison in its natural habitat. You see how it eats the grass. Beautiful. What are you doing? I'm making a video on modern bison. What a magnificent creature. Uh, no, 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 no. This is a video on modern bison, the band. Uh... So today we're going to be talking about modern bison, a math rock band from the mid 2000s. This band is pretty unknown and not well documented. So I'm trying best with the info that was available. Uh, they were formed in either Salford or Manchester, England, uh, with the members Jonathan Higgs on drums, Jeremy Pritchard on guitar, and Sam Carswell on guitar and vocals. Uh, you may recognize Higgs and Pritchard from another band we've talked about on the channel, Everything Everything. Uh, they play different instruments in the two bands, uh, leading to almost like no crossover between the two styles. Uh, and truthfully, the only reason I found out about modern bison is because of everything everything however modern bison is far different from everything everything they have a far less accessible sound and their one release i could have had a rustic pagoda is one of the most thrilling and experimental math rock albums of the 2000s in my opinion uh, released in 2006 it went relatively unknown until its digital re-release in 2020 and it's still relatively unknown um, which is why I want to talk about it to you today. Hopefully, get the word out there. Maybe some of y'all will listen. I Could Have Had a Rustic Pagoda is a very exciting math rock album. Uh, while still within the bounds of math rock, it pushes those bounds, stretches them, and morphs them into something wholly new. I should mention that Modern Bison is certainly inspired by other pioneers of the math rock genre, such as Slint, um, but again, are able to work with those inspirations in a transformative way. It's also a pretty short album coming in at six tracks, just over 32 minutes. So I recommend you check it out if you have the time. The album kicks off with Draw Swords, which is honestly one of the best openers to an album. Um, it starts off with this uh, great riff and heightens with crashing cymbals that come in. On top of this, Carswell's off the wall vocals really tie the track together. Um, this track is honestly like super catchy and there's so many memorable lines which isn't very common in math rock and throughout the track there's all these diversions like stray guitar riffs uh, which add just so much life to the track following draw swords is matches which is a track that has definitely grown on me over time and it's probably one of the more inaccessible tracks from the album it's definitely heavier and the vocals are a bit harsher but I think the track overall comes together well. It continues the thrills from Draw Swords, keeping the energy up. Um, I especially love the plodding tension, which is built up with the guitars that all comes crashing down with the heavy riffs. The track whiplashes between reserved and all out with a fierce intensity, uh, which makes it a ton of fun to listen to. I'm also a fan of the outro to this track with the whining guitars that just cut through the mix. The next track on the album is Battered Cod, which is another experiment in this struggle between loud, overpowering riffs and the reserved melodic ones. Um, the vocals take a back seat on this track, instead letting the guitars mostly speak for themselves with these crashing cymbals to support them throughout the track. The outro of this track is very odd. It contains a reversed conversation. Honestly, when I first heard the reverse speech, I thought it was kind of funny uh, and certainly creative. Unreversed, it sounds like a conversation from like a TV show or a play or something, but I can't find what one if it does exist. So maybe the band made it up. I, I don't know, actually. The reverse speech does contain the phrase, I could have had a rustic pagoda. So it gives some context as to where that name came from. Um, there should be a link to a video with the reverse speech some somewhere. It's around. Following Better Card, we have Le Hommage, uh, which again uses reverse speech. This one, however, suggests to me is a little weird because it's the conversation between Flight United 93 on 9-11, um, which is just, it's a bit of an odd inclusion on the album. Uh, and it's a, it's a pretty like heavy subject for this album to pull from. Besides that, the track has some great riffs on it still some great instrumentation but i also think that this track doesn't really have the same depth as other tracks on the album the next track on the album is got my sea legs back the shortest and one of the more thrilling tracks on the album 
Uh, from front to back, this track is pretty much non-stop intensity, which I think is super fun. Uh, the vocals are completely all over the place, uh, adding to the chaos of the drums and guitars. We also get some out there squealing guitars towards the back half of the track, which just keep going until eventually petering out and coming back as something wholly new. It's like they evolve throughout the track. The closing track is the glass blower, which has this great foundation, which occasionally just explodes in your face. Another track which keeps up the excitement of the album, and I think compositionally maybe one of the best on the album, given how all the different instruments and riffs work together uh, so comprehensively on this track. Really an incredible closing track, which I think captures the essence of what I love about this album. I Could Have Had a Rustic Pagoda is an album that I think is definitely worth your time checking out. Uh, it beautifully contrasts the highs and lows, the quiet and the intensity, the composition and the chaos. At the very least, I think it deserves uh, more attention than it currently has, which is something I hope to fix. Unfortunately, I Could Have Had a Rustic Pagoda is really the start and end of the modern bison story. Um, the band broke up only 10 months after its creation with Higgs and Pritchard going on to form Everything Everything, and I can't find any info on Carswell. Also, as far as I'm aware, uh, these six songs are the band's only recorded material. They seem to be active in the live scene during the time, but uh, that was that was a while ago now, so don't don't get anything from there. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. Let us know what you think of the series and if there's any bands you want to see us talk about in the future. Also, if you've given Modern Bison a listen, uh, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you have a good day. Uh, let us... Oh, wow. Dap, dap, dap. Bye.